The Copenhagen interpretation, a foundational theory in the realm of quantum mechanics, stands as one of the most widely taught and discussed frameworks for understanding the behavior of particles at the quantum level. Developed in the early 20th century primarily by physicists Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, the Copenhagen interpretation grapples with the profound and perplexing nature of quantum phenomena. To delve into this interpretation is to embark on a journey into the strange and counterintuitive world where particles exist in superpositions, observations influence reality, and uncertainty reigns supreme. At the heart of the Copenhagen interpretation is the recognition that quantum mechanics introduces a fundamental departure from classical physics, challenging our intuitive notions of reality. Classical physics, which governs the macroscopic world we observe in our daily lives, follows deterministic principles. If one knows the initial conditions of a system, classical physics allows precise predictions of its future state. In stark contrast, quantum mechanics introduces inherent uncertainty and probabilistic behavior at the microscopic scale. A cornerstone of the Copenhagen interpretation is the concept of wave-particle duality which suggests that particles, such as electrons and photons, exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties. This duality is encapsulated in the famous wave-particle dual nature of particles, a fundamental tenet of quantum mechanics. It implies that particles are not confined to classical trajectories but are described by probability distributions known as wave functions. The Copenhagen interpretation introduces the idea of superposition, wherein particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Before measurement or observation, a particle is in a superposition of possible states, each associated with a probability amplitude. It is only upon measurement or observation that the particle's state collapses into one of the possible outcomes, as dictated by the probabilities encoded in the wave function. The act of measurement in quantum mechanics is particularly intriguing within the Copenhagen interpretation. Unlike in classical physics, where measurement is assumed to reveal pre-existing properties of a system, quantum measurement is an active and transformative process. The act of measurement doesn't merely unveil pre-existing attributes of a particle but, rather, influences the system's state, causing the wave function to collapse into one of the possible outcomes. This characteristic of quantum measurement is famously encapsulated in Heisenberg's uncertainty principle a key element of the Copenhagen interpretation. Formulated by Werner Heisenberg, this principle posits an inherent limit to the precision with which certain pairs of properties, such as position and momentum, can be simultaneously known. The more accurately one measures one property, the less precisely the other can be determined. This inherent uncertainty challenges the classical notion of precise trajectories for particles and underscores the fundamentally probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. Niels Bohr, a central figure in the development of the Copenhagen interpretation, articulated a complementary principle to Heisenberg's uncertainty, complementarity. Complementarity emphasizes that certain pairs of properties, such as position and momentum, cannot be simultaneously measured with arbitrary precision. Attempts to measure one property with high precision inevitably introduce uncertainties in the measurement of the complementary property. This duality of precision lies at the heart of complementarity and reflects the intrinsic limitations imposed by the quantum world. The Copenhagen interpretation also grapples with the role of the observer in quantum systems. According to Bohr, the observer plays a fundamental role in defining reality in the quantum realm. The act of measurement, performed by an observer, collapses the wave function and determines the outcome of the measurement. The observer, in this view, becomes an integral part of the quantum process, influencing the very nature of reality through the act of observation. This anthropocentric aspect of the Copenhagen interpretation has led to philosophical debates about the nature of reality and the role of consciousness in quantum mechanics. Some argue that the act of observation requires a conscious observer, giving rise to the idea that consciousness plays a fundamental role in the nature of reality. Others contend that the observer need not be conscious, and that any interaction with the quantum system, whether by a conscious being or an inanimate detector, leads to the collapse of the wave function. 
The Copenhagen interpretation has been highly successful in providing a theoretical framework that accurately predicts the outcomes of quantum experiments. Its mathematical formalism has stood the test of time, and its principles are deeply embedded in the education of physicists. However, the interpretation has also sparked debates and alternative views, giving rise to other quantum interpretations, such as the many worlds interpretation and the de Broglie Bohm pilot wave theory. The many worlds interpretation, proposed by Hugh Everett III in 1957, takes a radically different stance on quantum mechanics. According to this interpretation, rather than a collapse of the wave function, all possible outcomes of a quantum measurement occur in separate, non-communicating branches of the universe. In essence, every time a quantum event with multiple possible outcomes occurs, the universe splits into different branches, each corresponding to one of the possible outcomes. This interpretation seeks to resolve the apparent randomness and discontinuity introduced by the collapse of the wave function in the Copenhagen interpretation. The de Broglie Bohm pilot wave theory, on the other hand, retains determinism while introducing a hidden variable, a guiding pilot wave. In this theory, particles follow definite trajectories determined by the pilot wave, with the wave function playing a guiding role rather than representing probabilities. Unlike the Copenhagen interpretation, where the outcome of a measurement is inherently uncertain until observed, the pilot wave theory posits that the hidden variables determine the outcome with certainty. Despite the challenges and debates surrounding the interpretation of quantum mechanics, the Copenhagen interpretation remains a foundational and widely accepted framework. Its principles have provided a robust and successful description of the behavior of particles at the quantum level. The debates and alternative interpretations have not led to a conclusive resolution, underscoring the deep mysteries and paradoxes inherent in the quantum world. In conclusion, the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics stands as a foundational framework that has shaped our understanding of the quantum realm. It introduces the concept of wave-particle duality, superposition, and the intrinsic uncertainties embedded in quantum measurements. The act of observation is central to the Copenhagen interpretation, and the role of the observer in defining reality adds a unique anthropocentric dimension to the quantum world. While successful in predicting experimental outcomes, the interpretation has also sparked philosophical debates and alternative views, highlighting the profound and enigmatic nature of quantum mechanics. The mysteries of the quantum realm continue to captivate physicists and philosophers alike, inviting further exploration and contemplation into the fundamental nature of reality. If you found this informative please like, subscribe, share and comment. Thanks for watching this video.